discover the channel today and uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you can get notifications anytime we post a new video and make sure and smash that like button if you like what we're doing here in the video and if you have any comments or questions about what we're doing in our videos please put them down in the comments below so today instead of doing a family adventure or a family review of a product well we're kinda gonna do a family review of a product but first we gotta build it so today we're gonna do the Mega Blocks Halo Scorpion Tank, uh, basically the main uh, tank that the UNSC uses in the war against the uh, aliens. Covenant. Covenant, whatever. Halo freak here. <laughs> anyway, I kind of like Halo too. I just like Master Chief the most. I don't like all the other characters as much. So, just how I am. But my son took where I started, just blast off. So, anyway, inside the box we have two separate instruction manuals. Step one and step two. And then we have all these wonderful bags of parts. Um, some you can recognize, like there's the tracks for the tank. There's the cylinder part that I'm sure will probably make the uh, turret. Um, here's a couple of the characters. Uh, the Covenant rifles in there. So is the machine gun, the rifle. The assault rifle. The assault rifle. Um, plasma gun. Plasma gun, yeah, that's what it's called. So, all sorts of fun parts. Um, I really like the way Mega Blocks does their sets. They separate everything into bags. It's very organized. The instruction manuals are very easy to understand. I remember how I had a Pirates Island. I can't remember what it was called. But it had a bunch of pirates. It had the Islanders. And it had everything involved with it. And it was a huge island. It would have taken up at least over half this table. And that thing took me pretty sure it took me like two or three weeks just to build it. It was just a huge set. You had everything from a little totem pole that the the chest opened up and you could hide characters inside. It had a bridge that would tip um, when the guys were riding on it. It had a couple little um, canoes that you could have. It had uh, alligators that would eat the pirates. It had little uh, gold chests that you had little gold coins to go in. Pretty cool stuff. That was Lego brand, um, and like I said, it was extremely difficult. So, but this one, uh, they've really reformed how they do these sets, and it just makes stuff go so much easier.
guys, well, we're done. Uh, it took a little longer than I expected. Um, I'd say with oh, about 400, how many parts is it? Grab the box real quick. This one has 616 pieces. Uh, we had about uh, 10 or 12 left over. The All four treads will rotate a full 90 degrees. And it's, it's very, very stout. The, the rear end opens, so you can toss some soldiers in there uh, when you're playing with it and have it come out on top. Um, like I said, all four treads do move. The USC markings, all the Legos are basically, uh, sorry, all the Mega Blocks run about the same spot. Uh, they fit nice and tight. The only block that really does not fit nice and tight is the one they used to put this centerpiece on for the uh, cannon and turn my front gunman over sideways you can pop the hatch open inside we've got our red guy uh, and we've got this other guy I can't remember his name if my son was awake he could tell you but uh, he kind of lost the battle to sleep this evening alien was pretty easy to put together all three guns on the tank do move uh, as you can tell by moving that guy, the soldier moves. Moving this, I can move the cannon. I can move the secondary gun that goes with the cannon. Um, some of the fine details, uh, the, the symbols right here on the side. And UNSC eagle symbol, regular uh, symbol there. You've got one on each side here on the back uh, tread. You're looking at an adult judging a kid's toy. But as far as I can tell, I, I like it. It looks really clean. The look of it is really nice. Um, the paint job on the characters could use some work. Uh, other than that, guys, I would say pretty good build. Uh, we started the build around, I'd say, 8.30, maybe 9 o'clock. It's currently a little past midnight. Minus uh, a couple potty breaks for the kids. A water break for me it came out really well um, I know I've got some crazy kids I do some crazy videos I try to do it for you guys I love my kids to death they mean the world to me even when they fall asleep halfway through the project <laughs> so bye go hit the button